Good morning guys. Today we're not installing any car parts today, but we are going to be adjusting the ride height today, um, stiffening up the suspension, and reinstalling the uh, back seats back into the car. So overall, the ride height looks really good, especially on the rear. Um, the front, however, I do want to adjust a little bit. I'm thinking maybe like a quarter of an inch or half an inch, but we'll see. But first, I got to take a measurement of the front two tires, and then we'll see from there. And once that's done, we're going to adjust the rear. Um, as you can see on the rear over here, that rhymes, but over here, I can't get my fingers in from how low it is. And if we go on the other side, I can actually get my fingers in. So I'm thinking maybe I messed up when I was adjusting the ride height when I first installed it. Um, so we're going to go back and fix this and adjust that as well. Just so we can get both sides even. Like I said, once that's done, we're going to stiffen up the suspension a little bit because I've noticed over the week, it isn't that stiff, so I want to make it a little more stiffer. And then once that's all done, we'll install the back seats and everything back in the car. I can't find my actual tape measure, so I'll be using this old one that I found. It still works. So we'll go and get a measurement for the front, and then we'll make sure we can kind of make sure both sides are even. And like I said, we'll probably drop it like a quarter of an inch or a half an inch, but we'll see how that goes. All right, so this side is at 26 and a quarter. We're gonna double check the other side and see how that is. All right, so that one actually does sit a little lower. Um, I'm wondering it's because maybe our driveway is slanted. That could be why. Um, either way, we're gonna go ahead and uh, raise the car up, take off the wheels, and we'll measure the actual coil over, and then we'll go from there and adjust it properly. All right, we got that done. Now we're gonna go ahead and measure it, and we can see where it sits at. All right, so since we're going to be dropping this car down, I'm going to measure from right up here above this uh, collar, like right this lip, to the bottom of the lip as well. We're going to measure that, and then we're going to, we're going to drop the car about a quarter to a half an inch. I'll see how I feel. All right, so we just measured both sides. Both of them are about four and five eighths. So like I said, we're going to go in and adjust it right now. And yeah. And for those who don't know, you're going to use these uh, spanner wrenches. The big one will hold the very top a uh, little thingy whatever that's called and this bottom one will actually adjust the right height this one actually will loosen up the very bottom collar so yeah all right all right so i dropped it about a quarter of an inch on the uh driver's side so now we're going to drop the passenger side Looks like a quarter of an inch, so we'll measure it. Measure this again. Okay, let's see. Yep, that is good. All right, so we went ahead and dropped uh, both sides about a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna put the wheels back on and then we'll see how the fitment looks. All right, guys, so I got a little bit ahead of myself. We got the two uh, rear tires off and the front um, we did fix. So I must have miscalculated because it only dropped like maybe it was about an eighth of an inch. It only dropped. Um, maybe like 316 so it's not it's not too bad but like so we're gonna fix the rear um this coilover is about three inches and now the passenger one's about three and a eighth so that's why there's a bit of a gap so we're gonna go ahead and fix that real quick and then we'll drop the car and then we'll go ahead and stiffen up all the suspension parts So 
All right, guys, so I didn't end up recording the whole thing. Um, I had to go back and kind of fix that one a couple times. But overall, this is how the, this side looks right here. And this is how this side looks over here. It isn't perfect, but it's good enough for now. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and focus on all the dampening screws. And we're going to try to get it all the same. Um, the goal is to stiffen it a little bit more to prevent the car from, you know, bottoming out and all that. But yeah, we're going to try that right now. All right, so we just finished adjusting it. Um, it's pretty simple. Just a couple knobs you gotta twist. So overall, there's, 50, there's 30 different uh, adjustments, 15 uh, softness and 15 hardness. So I went all the way stiff as possible and I went minus six. So the all the way around. So in the future, if I feel like it's too stiff, we can keep you know, increasing it or decreasing it and go from there. Again, pretty simple. Again, for those who don't know, just these little knobs right here you just adjust and you can twist it right there and then for the fronts they are right here just, and you just twist it and you can adjust the softness and the hardness of it what's up so right now we're gonna put the uh these plates back on as you can see the strut tower kind of bolts into these and behind here and it's going to cover this section of the uh, strut tower. so i'm gonna do that right now and get it installed and again, for those who are doing the uh, coilover install on the Q50, like I said, this plate, as you can see, it comes behind this pillar. You gotta take those two bolts off. To, rem to get to that, you have to undo this little uh, clip right here, and this will pop out. Then you can pop this out, and you can get access to it. I've been using just a ratchet, and you can kind of squeeze it in there and get to it, um, but yeah. All right, so we got that uh, rear plate in. So right now, we're gonna get these seats installed. I went ahead and vacuumed it. So it's a little bit more cleaner and then yeah right now i'm gonna go and get this in get that all bolted up and then we'll focus on the actual uh seat cushion all right so we got the uh, rear seat in wasn't too hard just gotta clip the uh the back of it in and then get all the bolts in but now we're gonna get the actual cushion in all right guys so we got the uh, rear cushion in it's all done in the car and i forgot to record really too much footage but uh yesterday i installed the aluminum under shroud for my car the z1 so this is the old undershot right now and the new one's under the car um i'm gonna post some footage from that from yesterday like i said i didn't really record too much on it um overall pretty simple install the hardest part was putting the um the rib nuts in but that wasn't that bad so i'll post some footage right now showing what i did and yeah Oh shit, look at my coilovers. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drill out these three holes right here. So we can put the rivet nuts in for the shroud. So we can do that right now. All right, so I went ahead and uh, drilled, out, drilled out the uh, holes. So right now we're gonna install the rivet nuts, as you can see. Basically this golden part is gonna sit inside and that's what the screws are going to go into to hold up the uh, under shroud. So we're going to try to get this in. Um, I've never done it before, so we'll see what happens. guys we finished installing the uh, under shroud pretty simple install nothing crazy um yeah super easy Whew. all right so as you can see um i got it finished installed i don't know if i can show you a good angle but uh yeah this is how it looks it looks really good um yeah really good quality and uh yeah i think it's nice i think the uh, nicest part right here is the service panel all you gotta do is take off this bolt and that bolt you know, basically just come right out. You can change your oil, replace your filter, and then when you're done, just slap it back on and put the two bolts back in. Overall, really nice quality. But seriously, the only hard part was using the, uh, installing the rib nuts. 
this is the tool they give you to install it um pretty difficult i had a hard time doing it but we got it done but uh yeah overall not too bad and highly recommend it overall guys a pretty short video um i'll mainly, mainly just showing how it works how does the install look like but yeah not too bad so yeah as you guys know the reason i'm doing this is because i plan on dropping the car a little bit with the new coilovers and i kind of want to secure the undercarriage so that's why we got it but uh yeah that's basically it basically z1's instruction manual was really nice um basically walked you through what to, what to do and everything so overall not too bad of an install as long as you follow that the instruction manual all right guys so i forgot to record an outro for this video um but that's basically it um hope you guys enjoyed the video i actually cleaned the car and i got the seat back in it's so much quieter in here it's so much nicer but uh that's basically it i'm gonna go take some pictures of the car so check out my instagram at ghost.q50 for the pics and uh that's it please, please leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time peace out